thought we'd look back on how well he was able to accomplish last year's initiatives. Crime was the very first subject the mayor addressed last year. He pledged to take officers from behind the desk and have them hit the streets. He has accomplished that by recently instituting virtual precincts, but it's too soon to tell how well it will work, particularly because last year the homicide rate was down. This year, it skyrocketed. As far as closing some of the precincts at certain times and then bringing the uh, police officers more vocal, um, you know, a visual out on the streets. And, and hopefully maybe with people seeing that there are more policemen out on the street, maybe crime will go down. The Detroit Works Project was supposed to restructure portions of the city where the population has plummeted. Through either major rehabs or helping those residents move into a more desirable home and area. But according to Council Member Jenkins, who wholeheartedly supported the mayor's plan, it turned out to be too ambitious. There's been no real progress. There's just been talk, you know, so uh, hopefully we'll get to a point where there will be progress because people in the neighborhoods are frustrated. They feel like nothing that was promised has been done. The financial crisis has also stalled the mayor's long-term demolition goal of 10,000 abandoned homes and buildings. There is one flip side to the financial mess. It's allowed the mayor to make real progress towards last year's stated goal of reducing labor costs by 10%. No one's been given a sneak peek, but there's little doubt that a key part of tonight's speech will have to do with Detroit's dire financial situation. From downtown Detroit, Val Clark, 7 Action News.